Welcome back, guys, to part seven of Burn House Lane. Let's see about saving the patient downstairs. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so he doesn't hear that? <clears throat> now what? Want the cupcake? No? I don't blame you. So, uh... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. <laughs> oh no. What if I stop? We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. So I think I'm on the right path though. Like I <clears throat> make the patient scream and get his attention and then I probably have to wait a little longer to get out. Poor person. supposed to get out now? What? Nothing was happening! And this music started playing? What do you want from me? What happens if I do the cupcake? That's not gonna work. Here. Oh, okay. So... Give her the adrenaline shot. He screams. 
to stop the wrecker, he comes and investigates, gets distracted by her, but then... I don't know when I'm supposed to get out and go to the other side because I waited, the music started, I waited a little bit longer and nothing happened, so... Um... I may or may not have to look it up. I'll try one more time. And I don't know what else to do after that. Again. I must I need... remember to buy one. He opens the door and I need to go get the key. But like every time I hop out of the cabinet, he sees me. Huh? I guess I'll wait. I can't like move the camera around so I can see. Okay, the music is playing. How long, how long do I wait? Can I get out now? What? Ugh. This is so annoying. Okay, I'm probably gonna have to look it up. Sorry, I'll be back when I know the answer. Okay, guys. I'm a bit silly. Uh, this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know why I didn't think of this. Again! I must remember to buy you one. Yep. Taking the key. I don't think I want to pull the lever. Strange retraction. It seems its purpose is not to take confessions, but rather to interrogate and torture. What does this do? Not cable plug. This back the way it was. I have no clue. I didn't pay attention. Uh, sure. Now what? It won't block the door if I don't close it first. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Now what? Ooh! That's bright. But like, why? Mmm, I ain't pulling the lever. 
Unless I have to, I probably have to. Oh! I thought it was gonna do something bad. Wait, you're Jenny Wilde, the actress. Yeah. <laughs> and who the fuck are you? Really? I just set you free. Yeah. Uh. I'm yeah. just a person that's saving your ass. <sighs> you sure you're not with him? Pretty sure, yes. <laughs> Good. Great. Uh, in that case, Bug? let's get the hell out of here, oh. <laughs> shall we? Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, how do we get out? Oh, you! It's going nowhere. Nah! Uh, oh, fuck. I don't know what to do. I'm completely lost on what to do right now. He's gonna just shoot me any. Oh, let's rotate it. Right? Cupcake? You like cupcake? Well, look at that. Do you think we could climb up that rubble? I guess. But he needs to stop bloody shooting at us. Huh. That shouldn't be a problem. He's down. One of the bricks hit him right in the face. <laughs> Good. Maybe, okay, I bet if I didn't turn the light to blind him, he would have been able to shoot us. game would not give me an option to rotate it without it being, you know, relevant. Come on. Well, I'm following you, Missy. Hurry. I'm right on your heels. Hmm? Oh, free at last. Yeah, for real. Um, as you know, I'm Jenny Wilde. <laughs> Kinda. Instantly recognizable. Obviously. Obviously. And what's your name? Angie. Angie. It's nice to meet you, Angie. And thanks for saving me. I was about to say, where's it's my fun. thanks? Don't worry about it. But what's an American movie star like you doing in a place like this? Oh, we just, uh, finished filming last week. I met some people, went to some parties. You know how it is. Not really. No. <laughs> Not really, no. I can't move. Okay. Game's moving me. Now I can move? Alright, we're smoking to save. But, uh... Ginny Walls over there would like a smoke. Uh, why can I hide in there? I mean, I just saved, so it's no big deal. There's dozens of clergy robes hanging neatly on the rack. I thought I was already dead. 
He was either going to cut me to bits with that big fucking slicer, mm -hmm. or turn me into a sex slave in his stupid sex dungeon. Mm -hmm. Rob's a real piece of work. He'd probably do both. Yeah. Ugh. Um... You hurt? Uh, no. <laughs> Not really. I'm asking because I'm a nurse. I can give you a quick checkup. Oh, maybe later. Uh, I'll be okay for now. You sure? You're covered in blood. I got a, a few scratches on my legs. He uh, punched me once or twice. Smashed my poor little nose. But most of this blood isn't mine. And that's... To be honest... I'd rather not talk about it. If you don't mind. I've seen some things down there that will last me for a lifetime. Sure. I get it. I wish I could have saved the other girl too. The one that was screaming? She was dying right in front of me. And there was nothing I could do. So I used her as bait. Fuck. What did I do that? Hey, it's all right. It's not your fault. It's Rob that's guilty of all of this. And he'll pay for it, I swear. You're damn right. How did you end up in the catacombs? Oh, I met Rob at a party. I think that was three days ago. Yeah. He must have put something in my drink because I remember feeling dizzy and Rob offering to drive me to a hotel. And you know, I'm a big girl. I'm well aware you don't get into cars with men you've just met because that's just asking for trouble. Mm -hmm. But he was a priest for fuck's sake. I really didn't think he'd spike my drink, <coughs> take me down to his secret lair and try to fuck me. That man's a weasel. I had a feeling there was something wrong with him, but I ignored it. I didn't. I'm not making that mistake again. So, before we go... Yes? Ooh. Hmm. Maybe. Sure, let's see. Tell me you're not hiding anything from me. I... Um... Fine. He didn't really drug me. He... Gave me some coke because he knew I wanted it. And we... Snorted it together in one of the bedrooms. And... Oh, I'm so sorry. I knew it was wrong, but... It's alright. I'm not going to judge you. I just wanted to know. Huh? Hmm? I, uh, I think I drifted away for a second. Uh, what did you say? It's nothing. Don't worry. Do you think he's dead? Well, that would certainly sort out a lot of problems for us right now. <coughs> but I doubt he is. Yeah, me, me too. Me too. That would be just too easy. Yeah, too easy. Let's go. Wait. What's the plan? The church seems all locked up. We have the fence or something? Mm. Actually, I know this might seem strange to you, but there's something I want to try. You see, I think I can lead Rob into a trap. And how the hell are you going to do that? Well, I'm just going to put a spell on a door. Um, yep, I'll draw an X on a door with my magic chalk. She's going to think you're absolutely loony. So let's go with this one. Trust me. I have my ways. I don't normally trust anyone, but... All right. Ugh, it's been one crazy fucking day. Do what you gotta do. Stay here and rest for now. I'll start by getting up to the top floor. Then we'll set up the trap and attract Rob's attention. I'm pretty sure he's not far behind, looking for us. Yeah. Okay. 
It makes me sick to think that this evil man delivered his sermons here to all those unaware people. Uh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's odd. Each of these benches has a small red button on the side. I wonder what these do. Uh, no? I'm scared. I could go save and then find out. The lock, right? Okay, let's go find out what the red button does on the side of the pew. Why can't I do it in the one she's in? Oh, it's a puzzle. Wait, what? Up. I don't know. That's Jesus on the cross. One of the guards pierces his side with a spear, but wait, what's this? A handwritten note. Nine little lambs gathered before their god with wolf's face and prayed, but God with wolf's face was hungry, so he took the lamb closest to him and devoured her whole. The praying lambs took no notice, so he ran past them and ate the third from the back. The praying lambs took no notice. Still hungry, the wolf god ended his feast with a lamb that was right in the middle. Once his belly was full, the gates of heaven opened and he returned home. Okay. <coughs> no getting out this way. So where is the wolf god? I'm guessing the wolf god's the... Here? Okay, so how am I going up? Okay. Oh, these puzzles, man. I'm guessing there's nine pews. Uh huh. Great. But God. But God with wolf's face was hungry, so he took the lamb closest to him and devoured her whole. Praying lambs took no notice, so he ran past them and ate the third from the back. So. Do I need to press the button on the rest of these and turn them off? Oh no. Why did it turn that one off too? Let's just start with all of them off again. Okay, that one and then third from the back. Still hungry, the wolf god ended his feast with a lamb that sat right in the middle. Okay. Right in the middle. This one? Alright. 
Puzzle didn't stump me. Oh, hey. Oh, it's dark up there. After the catacombs, are we really going to be scared of a dark attic? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, I was about to say. Ugh, oh, that's better. Ugh. Solid wooden door. Why? Ooh. What is this guy's problem with young women? He thinks we're all sluts, I guess. <laughs> but it's more complicated. Down in the dungeon, he wanted me to be his new mistress. Cause the old one died. Well, she wasn't really up to the task anymore. Oh, here he comes. Okay. I mean, I know it's a shot off shotgun, but dang. I know you're hiding here. I'll find you. It's just a matter of time. He's here. And it sounded like he blasted the shit out of the back door. It's okay. We have another door right here. What if he destroys it too? I don't think he will. He wants us alive so he can, you know, you know, take us back to his sex dungeon. <gasps> I ain't going back there. No way. Then let's set the trap. This seems like a good place. Alright. Now, done. Now let's lure Rob into my trap. Okay. How do I do that? these lights back off oh is that a door I didn't mean to do this. Uh oh. I barely made it, but I guess now he knows where we are. I must hurry. It won't be. It won't be long before he climbs up here. Okay, I don't think I'm going anymore. Nope, I'm not. You destroyed half the church by the sound of it. <laughs> How is Rob gonna get up here now? He'll find There's a way. There's another door leading to the attic. I'm sure he has the key for it. Right. So... Uh, what happens now? Now it's time for the tables to turn. Uh, either work or we're dead. Ooh, I like this last one. Now it's time for Father Rob to atone for his sins. I can smell you up there! Dirty whores! You in there, keeping Millie company? Millie. How nice of you. You know, Millie had a hard time accepting Jesus into her heart. In the end, I ripped her chest open to let Jesus in. Yeesh. But enough of this dilly-dallying. Ladies, you'd better be ready. Your good shepherd is coming home. If I was Jenny, I'd be super skeptical.
stay here and wait for me. What? Why? I'm going after him. Oh yeah, let's go. I guess it didn't show the smoking because I was holding the gun. Alright. This is a good spot for me to end it actually. Oops. So we're gonna get him in the next episode, guys, for sure. This setting already looks super cool and creepy as is, but thank you for joining me for this episode. If you're liking this, don't forget to give that thumbs up, a big old like, and maybe subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!